We are out here at the GTCO Food and Drink Festival, the biggest food and drink festival in Africa. Today, as you can see behind me, there are a lot of people, a lot of activities are going on at the same time. And inside this very big hall, there is the exhibition where over a hundred vendors have come out to show us what they are all about. And without wasting any much of our time, let's go in and see what we can find. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Coin Sola Ogunoiki. Yeah. Okay, so tell us how has the experience been so far? Oh, it's been nice. It's been really chill. I mean, a lot of food to taste from and uh, nice people to meet also. It's, it's, it's chill, yeah. Is this your first time? Yeah, actually. Wow, this is the first time. So tell us, how many dishes have you tried out? Hmm. I've tried, I think I've tried a bit of everything. Um, I've, tr I've tried something from Hans and Rene. I've tried that ice cream. I've tried something from Sabo. I've tried some drinks. And yeah, a few things. I, I should try some more. I'm just, I'm just full right now. <laughs> He's taking a break. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking a break. I'm taking a break. Hello, beautiful ladies. Hi, how are you doing today? Very well, thank you. Hi, I'm very well, thanks. So, what's your name? My name is Lou. So, what's your name? Uh -huh. Uguna. Isn't he? So, Uguna and Isn't he? Is this your first time at the GTCO Food and Drink Festival? Yes. Same. Wow, so tell me, what are you expecting? Um, I have no idea because I've never been here before, but I mean, I hope I find something I like. Um, so same, same. I, um, this is my first time coming here, but I just have an open mind, and I just want to, you know, explore and have fun. That's all. Okay. So, is there any particular thing that you're looking forward to trying out? No. no, no. I mean, Kawa's Kitchen is in there, so I'll probably check that out. Okay. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. So, you're the first time at this festival? Yes, this is my first time. How has the experience been so far? Uh, it has been pleasant so far. I'm having a nice time. So, tell me, how many dishes have you tried out? Mm, I think two. I tried one seafood, something, 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 something funny. Something. <laughs> yeah, and then I tried smut chops, my favorite. I tried somebody's smut chops, yeah. Okay, so how was it? Yeah, it was nice. I really enjoyed it. It was spicy, as spicy as I liked, so... As it was spicy as it likes, he has a preference. So tell me, I do look forward to tasting more food. Oh uh, yeah, maybe when my stomach goes down a bit. Is that a break? Yeah, I'm on a break, but I'll try it more definitely. Yeah. Right now, I'm at the stand of the sport event, and I have with me the manager, and then his Tyro. Yeah. So tell us, tell us, how has the experience been so far for you? Good afternoon. Um, the experience has been wonderful actually because this is actually my first time of coming here. Apart from being a vendor, this is actually my first time of attending any GT foods and drink. But it has been nice, it's been wonderful, and then sales has been good actually. Wow, that's good to know. So I see you guys make local dishes. Yes, yes, we have a moi moi, like Yoruba will call it moi moi lewe. You know that moi moi now they package it in plastic and then her, but we, we are doing as in the leaf, like just to still keep that traditional, you know. That's the local, the local way. Yes, and then the taste is actually different from putting it in the plastic. So that's what we put. And then we have a soup, that's goat's meat. And then we see everybody eats meat. And then you know this, there is a special taste that goat's meat gives you. So if you are a fan of um, Moi Moi Ilowe, yeah? So you should definitely visit the store event. We have Mrs. Ifi. She came all the way from Anambra State for this festival. Ma, how has it been so far? Ah, it's very good. Everything is okay. How has it been? Let me say something like Lagos, everything, everybody. I see something different here. Yeah. It's very okay. So tell us, what exactly do you sell here? Catfish pepper soup and agidi and yam. Wow, so this is something that everybody loves, definitely. Oh, very good. Someone eats it and say, wow, 
this is very nice. So you're actually giving it a different feel, the yes. Igbo feel. Yes, I'm a brown. Surely all Igbos. <laughs> I have here with me a sales rep from the OMC Farms. Nice to meet you. My name is Lou. Nice to meet you. My name is Judith. I'm from OMC Farms. And currently, do you want to know what we do? Basically, yes, we, are, we, we are a farm. OMC Farm has a name. We're located in Ikorodu Agbawa side. We actually do basically fresh food, but mainly we do pork. We do fish. Currently, we have our produce here, mainly barbecued pork. We also have fresh pork parts from the loins to the sticks, different parts of the pork you want. Then we also have fresh fish. This one, we already dried it, so people okay. can use it to prepare anything, jollof rice, soup, whichever food you want to prepare. It's processed, it's processed already. already, so it's smoked. You can get it, we sell this one for like 3,005. So it comes with 400 grams, so some will be 420, some are 430, but approximately 400 grams. Some come in five pieces, some come in six pieces. So that's what we basically do. Wow, that's so much information to process. Yes. So let, let me just give you a summary of what we are yet to sell in GTCO. So okay. currently, yeah, we are selling smoked catfish this for 3005 then we are selling skewers they are also pork meats okay. pork skewers this looks very beautiful really tasty for me to say this this pork stick is from Harvard we actually baited the pork in the river Jordan where Jesus was you know baptized so it's really nice. I like I like I like your marketing strategy. You need it. You need marketing to succeed in this market. So this 10 pieces going for like 6K, three, five pieces going for like 3K. Um, so it's really, really tasty. You should have a taste of it. I wish I can give it, but you have to pay. Well, I understand. I understand. So tell me, how's the sales been so far? It's been fair. Yesterday was actually quite more good no we didn't have many people like too many people around but the sales were really much the thing about pork is whoever wants to eat pork would eat pork it's not something yeah. you actually force people to eat so yeah. but it's really tasty it's, it's LD fat so what we did we processed it here so it'd be LD for anybody to eat so it'll be all fatty all fatty yeah. so we, we did the barbecue filling that we kept the green pepper the red pepper so it's really it looks very attractive really attractive it's attractive to even your stomach <laughs> your intestines will love it you should have it Wow, wow. So is this your first time at the GTCO food and time, basically? The experience is actually fair because of what we sell. You know, everybody have their reservation about pork, but yeah. pork is actually good. And it's something I want to say. You can get pork from bacon. Bacon is from pork. Yeah, um, sausage is from pork. Some people some people have reservations because they feel, oh, we're eating fresh pork. Oh, is it? No, it's well processed. And you don't have to, to be worried about any health factor. It's really processed. Please kindly tell us what this brand is all about. Hi. Um, this is Barbecue Grills Amor. I'm the head, head griller, the lady griller. And we do everything grills. So from chicken to turkey to pork to beef ribs to lamb chops, everything grills. And the more is we started um, doing rice. So we have our house specials. So we have jambalaya rice. Um, chicken alfredo pasta and chicken um, Chinese chicken noodles. So which has been the best seller? Because I see that your stand is very busy right now with a lot of people. So which is the best seller for today? To be honest, everything. Because, you know, all the customers are coming in and they're ordering everything from the rice to the, to the noodles to the pasta. So the chicken, the turkey. But one thing we changed this year was we started doing peppered um, turkey and peppered chicken. And that has been quite popular. Okay, so it, this is not your first time here? Oh no, it's not. This is my third time here. Yes. GTCO Food and Drink Festival, and with me I have Dayo Akitola. So, so what's, the, what's your brand all about? What's the name of your brand? It's um, Paloma Food, and um, we're into processing of um, Nigerian food. Okay. So, we process granite to kuli kuli, and then you have the granite oil here, co pressed granite oil. Okay. Um, we have smoked chicken, smoked guinea fowl. 
do smoked meat, heady living, you know, with um, some lovely spices. Okay. And they're all they're all from Nigerian um, yeah, yeah, produce. Yes, yes, they are from Nigeria. We have we have iru, yeah, we have pomo, washed, well packed. Okay. So to reach us, Instagram, buy meat ng. Okay, so how has the sales been so far here? Uh, it's been awesome, seriously. It's been awesome. It's been it's been worth our while. Coming here for the, yesterday, today, and tomorrow is worth our while. That's very interesting. So this is your first time here? Yeah, first time. After trying for almost five years. Wow. And finally, you are here. Yes, so and I'm making sales. <laughs> so tell me, which is your best selling so far? Well, funny enough, everything has been like. Um, Kind of everybody's going for everything. Yeah, 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 you get it. So the quickly cool is selling, the chicken, the guinea fowl is selling, um, the spice is selling, the pomo is selling. So it's like you have something for some for people. So okay, so I see here you have this is coolie coolie yes. and it's a processed um granite. Does it have another name? Hey, well, some call it. I think coolie coolie is like a local name for it. Some call it um granot cake. But it sounds funny. It's coolie coolie. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's. I mean, it's coolie coolie. So if you are coming from anywhere, white, black, yellow, green, this is coolie coolie. I don't. I don't use granola cake. I don't have to funkify or Americanize my product. This is Niger. It's coolie coolie. I would like you to introduce the brand yourself. What's your name, please? Uh, my name is Kazim, and um, I represent Tweeties Blend. Tweeties Blend and Treat. Okay, so Tutti's Blend and Treats, what exactly is it about? Uh, well, thank you for asking me. That's, uh, we are into shaved ice, snow cone, and slush. Wow. So I see there are lots of mixtures going on here and there. So do you mix things and blend things? I think there's a blend in, in it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's, um, it all entails uh, shaved ice and mixed with um, fruit flavors. Wow. The color stuff that you are seeing are fruit flavors they must taste very very good uh, would you mind trying it uh, yeah i don't mind i don't mind uh, let me give you a sample okay we are going to try this out <laughs> okay let's see how that is okay so you said that this is banana flavor and I see that the ice is like melting while you're pouring the liquid on it. Because it's shaved. We have a machine that shaved the ice. So it make it, it make our work easier. This is our signature combo. We call it rainbow because it looks like rainbow. So we have um, a raspberry liquid on it. We have the blueberry and we have what again? And banana. And banana flavor on it. I can't wait to try this. It looks very interesting. Right. So which, which should I go for first? Anyone, you can just cook and drink and sip. Okay. Let me help you with that. Sorry. Mm, mm, mm. I'll leave the rest for you. Okay. Okay, this is very, very, my taste buds are excited right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. So you said this is your signature combo, the rainbow combo. Yeah. So tell me, what's the inspiration behind this? Well, the rainbow, as, it, as the name implies, the rainbow had many colors and it's always colorful and then kids are attracted to many colors. So we blend that together to, to make this uh, signature combo. So it's, it's, this is most of our best selling um, uh, flavors. Wow, so is it safe to say that this has the kids in mind? Of course, yes. Wow, thank you very much. I think I want to enjoy this and enjoy every flavor because when it went into my mouth, I was feeling the excitement in my taste buds. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. I'm so grateful for this. Thank you. I have with me Zussi. Hi. So tell us about your brand. What's it about? What's the name? So Casa Green. It's an urban farm and a juicery. Okay, so is it Nigerian? Yes, of course. Everything is made here with locally made fruits. So it's, I can see it's made fresh. It's been processed freshly. Yes, it's actually cold pressed fruit. So it's only the fruit. There's no additive, no added water, no added sugar. So what fruits do you use to make them? 
So we base most of our juices with pineapple because I love pineapple. It's very good for you. Uh, so we also have cucumber. We use a lot of watermelon as well. Uh, so yes, we have a wide range of fruits and um, corporate juices. We also grow microgreens. We have an urban farm in Lagos. So you can check us out on Instagram at Casa Greens, K-A-S-A Greens. Okay, so I can see that um, you have people here already at the store. Yes. How has the sales been so far? It's been great. Thank you, GT Co. Thanks. It's been great. Is this your first time here? Yes, it is. It is. We just launched in like January, so we are a new brand. Yeah. That's amazing. That's so good to know. With me, I have Miss Temitope. Nice to meet you, ma. It's a pleasure. So tell us, what do you have here? What is your brand all about? What's the name of your brand? Bits Clever Kitchen. We are into healthy food. We make hot meals. We make cold pressed cheeses. We make banana bread. We make snacks, but they are all healthy snacks. As uh, you got parfait as well. We do all of that. So you have all of these things that you mentioned here. Yeah, yeah. We have them here. We have burger stir fry. We have basmati jollof rice. We have um, beetroot. We have spicy citrus. We have pineapple. We have tiger nuts drink. We have zobo drink. The zobo drink has no natural ingredients. What we use as our sweetener is pineapple and oranges. Okay. I think it's more of a fit farm kind of. Yep, yep, you're right, you get it. Okay, so is this the first time at the festival? Yeah, it's, these are first time at the festival. Okay, so I can see that um, your staff is doing something over there. So what's going on there? She's making a yoga parfait. Okay, can you show us the process? Antoinette. Nice to meet you. Same here. <laughs> so tell me, what's your brand all about? Okay, so the name of the company is Badagi Jam and Foods Limited. Okay. okay. And what we are about is that we make low sugar, delicious fruit jams that are made from fruits that are grown in Nigeria. Okay. These jams are made in Nigeria. Wow. Right? And they are absolutely amazing. And the flavors that we use are popular flavors that Nigerians know. So things like mango, pawpaw, pineapple, uh, pineapple um, orange, the kind of fruits that you find in your typical fruit salad. Okay, so I heard mango. Mango, yes. There is a mango jam. There is a mango jam. This is the first time I'm hearing of that. And it tastes just like fresh mangoes. What is the name, basically? <laughs> well, we are a proudly Nigerian brand. Okay. And we want it to be easily identifiable as a Nigerian brand. And we believe that Badagri is a beautiful place that everybody in Nigeria knows. Even people outside Nigeria know of Badagri because yes. it's so famous. Yes. And so we thought, you know, well, what better way to tie our brand to Nigeria? than picking a place like Badagri to name our product. Wow, that's how it happened. You know. That's very interesting. <laughs> so I see here you have some oh, yeah. amazing looking mm -hmm. something on the yeah. plate. Yeah, so we made some granola bites, okay. right, some granola cups. And what we have here is some um, granola, okay. um, some yogurt, um, some of our jam, and some peanut butter. So it's just a way to show you different ways that you can enjoy jam very easily. And we are giving it away free. So this is this is a free, a free just come, you know, have a taste, enjoy, <laughs> buy something. <laughs> so before we have a taste of this amazing looking um, granola and jam mixture here on the plate, tell us, is this your first time at the festival? This is my second time actually. The very first time I came was in 2019. That was my first time. It was an amazing experience because that was just when we were starting out. Um, we hadn't really tested the market on a large scale. So we got to meet a lot of customers. People get a lot of feedback about our jam. In fact, it's what really made us 
decide that we really wanted to do this. one of the things yeah so we when it came came again we're like we have to be part of this and we are so thankful and fortunate that we got to come back and it's, it's been fun it's been fun i've been having a blast <laughs> okay so how has this been like fantastic fantastic because i remember when i passed here earlier i saw a lot of people here yes there's a huge crowd and they're really excited you know because someone come and they say oh zobo jam what's that you know zobo jam yeah we have one that we made with our hibiscus flowers yeah so we have a zobo jam variant people come, oh my god a zobo jam you know and that's what says popo you use purpose to make jam, we're like, yeah, and it tastes really good. You know, so like I said, we are just focused on taking our own Nigerian fruits and celebrating them. You know, every time you go out to buy jams, you see the typical strawberry, like, they're all nice, it's true, but what about our own fruits? And our fruits are delicious, yes. you know? And so that's that's what's going on here. And the crowd, the people have loved it. It's important, the response has been positive. I mean, we're very happy. <laughs> And I am happy that I am going to taste this right now. <laughs> so let's have. Talking about Zobo, right? Yes. This one. The Zobo is yes, this one. Yes, exactly. That's right. So I, I want to just taste one. So tell me which is the best among all of them. Ah, it's hard for me to say. Oh, they are so. You see, everything is delicious. So which is your preference? It depends on my mood. I have different. Okay, there are different things that I like different things, and there are different things that I like to have particular jams with but you know today i would recommend since we are doing this go for either the purple or the zobo the purple or the zobo this is the purple and this is the zobo okay yeah. so i think i'm very very eager to know what this zobo jam tastes like okay. so i'm going to do the zobo first okay so you need to bite in get the jam in oh my god <laughs> i'm gonna watch right now <laughs> This is amazing. Thank you. This is. I never have the word for it. This is definitely amazing. This is amazing. You like it. I'm really glad you like it. You know, we, we are so proud of our jams. And we love, we love, this is what we do. It's our passion. We love it. So um, when we get to talk with people and they try out something that they haven't tried before and they enjoy it, it makes us happy. And we're glad to be able to showcase something that is so authentically Nigerian. Because I mean, how many places will you go to and get a Zobo jam? I can tell you that this is the first time I'm trying out a Zobo jam. And it is fantastic. I'm telling you, I'm going to get one before I leave here today. Great. So thank you very much for having us at your stand. Thank you for coming to have a chat with me. It's been fun. Food and Drink Festival, the biggest food and drink festival in Africa. Yesterday was amazing, we had fun, we tried new dishes. Today we are going to be doing same and more. As you can see around me, there are a lot of activities taking place already. There is the exhibition where over a hundred vendors have come to show the world what their produces are and what their food and drink tastes like. Yesterday was amazing. Boy, I tell you, I had fun. I tried out new things for the first time and today we are going to be doing same and more. Oh, we're going to see them in a short while but now we are going to be speaking to a few attendees to know what their experience was yesterday and what they look forward to experiencing today. Stay with me, don't go nowhere. Afternoon. Tell me, is this your first time at the festival? Yes, sure. It's my first time. Um, other years that I've been seeing GT Co Food Festival online, like I don't come, I just sit on social media and just go through the pictures and explore. But you decided to come this time around? Yeah, I just want to see what it looks like and explore, you know, meet new people, taste new food. Do you understand? 
tasting new food, do you have a particular food or dish in mind that you want to try out? Hmm, not really, but I, I just want to explore. Any good thing I see, I'm just going to try it. Do you understand? Yeah. So, yeah. Official Nair clothing? Yeah. Um, Where you are a brand yourself. That's why I do. Like, this is my brand, Official Nair clothing. I'm a Lagos-based fashion designer. I make best book suits, best book wears, and make shoes made in Lagos. We just support the economy. We build things in, in Nigeria. Like, we are Nigerians, so we do things in Nigeria. We try to improve the economy, buy Nigeria to grow Nigeria, buy Nigeria to grow the Naira. So that's what we do. This is my brand. I'm wearing my brand at Wow, so he just used the opportunity to market himself. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you look forward to experiencing at this festival for today? Yeah, one thing I look forward to experience is uh, I think networking, meeting new people, yeah, trying to learn new things. I think, I, sorry, I think that networking is very important because there are a whole lot of people out here who have come to attend the festival and to be a good opportunity to very, sell yourself. Very, very great opportunity because you meet all likes of people, all calibers of yeah. people, like the first, the top class, middle class, and you know, all of, all of, some, all of those. So it's all good coming out here. You try to link up. You try it network. You meet a lot of old friends. You might meet probably CEOs like you. I meet new people, even people that are blue collars, white collars that work in, in initiatives like corporate events, um, corporate companies, like they do white collar jobs. So you that you're probably a blue collar doing um hand work, like running an entrepreneur company in Nigeria, you probably meet with someone that does a normal um day to day nine to five kind of job like a banker, someone that works in a company. So you try to link up, you try to do a lot of things. So it's just a kind of event that I think it's what's it's what's coming to and it's what's wow. Like it's what's giving my time to. Yeah, so remember that it's a food and drink festival. So is there any dish you have in mind that you want to try out or any drink in particular? I'm a foodie. Yo. <laughs> if you're a Lagos house like, you need to actually be a foodie. Like yeah. I, I like to eat good food. I like to eat good food. So I think I'll be doing more of um fries fries first like maybe the um just fries first then from that we, we look out for new maybe new dishes that i haven't seen before that i've not had but i try to eat little if just little little from everything so because of my whole body system so i don't get me <laughs> so that's just one thing we're having so much fun here at the gt co food and drink festival 2022 edition and with me i have green and eloho so tell me how has the experience been so far well, it has been okay. It has been entertaining. Like I tried some dishes that I've never tried before and they were really nice. So, so far it has been really nice. Okay, so how has the experience been for you? Um, it's been fun. I mean, I tried bulgogi, this Korean dish that I've been wanting to try. So, <laughs> it's been fun. And you had it for the first time? Yes, here. How was it? It was okay. It was very spicy, but it was okay. Okay, so what dish did you try for the first time? I don't know the name. <laughs> I think it's pa, pagwa something, an Asian dish. An Indian dish? Asian. Asian dish? Yes. So, was it worth the try? -out? Yes, it was. It was very nice. I really enjoyed it. And I'm going to look for it in the future. I have here with me Shola Kumi. Nice to meet you, Ma. Nice to meet you, too. So tell us, what is this stand all about? What do we have? What are we displaying? Honey and Cloves is all about cakes, pastries, and all we do. Currently, we have cupcakes, we have ice cream cakes, we have cake slices, we have different types of cake slices. I'm sure he can see. We have a carrot cake, we have um, taffeta cake, we have vanilla, and all that. Then we also have cookies, we have banana bread, we have muffins, we have cookies, different types of cookies. We are sold out on our donuts already. That's our best seller. Uh, so the, the donut is the best seller so far? Yes. And it's sold out already. This is it's not yet noon and it's sold out. Donuts don't take time. Like, really, really nice and everybody loves it. Okay. So how has the experience been so far in this year's edition? And this year has been good, actually. Let's just say that it has been good. Yesterday was really, really fantastic. The first day was a bit slow and today is also going well. Uh, you can see we have started selling out on some of our products already. So, and, and people have enjoyed it so far. I've not, think, I've not seen anybody that didn't like anything the person tasted. Okay, so it is safe to say that sales have been going really well. Yes, sales have been going really fine. Thank you. So tell me, where can we find you? Instagram and Facebook. This is our Instagram handle. You can just scan our barcode and then you get that's at onionclothes.bakery and at onionclothes also for on Instagram. Then on WhatsApp, this is our WhatsApp number here. I like this. This is really fancy. Thank you. <laughs> I like the colors of everything I'm seeing here. It's beautiful. Thank you very much. It's to attract people. Yeah. 
Yes. So we are at one of the vendors at the GTC of Food Exhibition, and I have here with me Nelson Gvils, yeah? Yeah, yeah, Nelson. How are you doing today? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So tell me, is this your first time at the festival? Yes, it is actually. How's the experience been? Oh, oh my God, it's been uh, overwhelming. I mean, people, orders, 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 you know. Uh, I, see, I see the way you're blushing, like, it's been, it's been really overwhelming. How are sales been? Oh, great, fantastic. I mean, it's, it's a wonderful experience. You know, GT creating this opportunity, the platform for businesses to thrive on and, you know, put your brand out there. It's, it's a fantastic one. Okay, so tell me, I see you have a lot of dishes here. So which has been your best seller so far? Uh, okay, so we tried to keep it light because it's my first time here. So I didn't do it. The menu is not broad. But the best seller so far has been the chicken wings, you know. Has always been and it's still the best seller here, chicken wings. So I look forward to you having a lot more sales today. Amen, amen. I'm looking forward to that as well. It's looking like it's already. I mean, it's the last day. It's a public holiday, so it's looking like it's going to be really packed. So yeah, sure. My name is Fumike Shine. I'm the CEO of Relish Savo Cocktails. Okay, so is this the first time of Relish Savo being at the GTC or Food and Drink Festival? Yes, yes. This is my first time. So how has the experience been? Ah, oh, it's been wonderful. At first, it was overwhelming. You know, I didn't know what I was expecting. But of course, after the first day, the second day, I came well prepared and it's been, yeah, you sales, know, sales, 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 and sales. So tell us, what is Relish Savo all about? I see you have some colored looking liquid in, in these um, boxes. So what's it all about? Oh well, basically we're into mocktails. Okay. Yes, we do pop tails as well, popsicles and all that. And we cater for different events, right. corporate events, social events. So different kind of mocktails. You know, we have different names. Yes. If I begin yes. to mention and mention, you know, the, um, the common Chapman, but you know our, our own kind of Chapman. There's a twist to it. We have our strawberry Chapman, not the regular Chapman. Yes, we have the blue cocoa, different from the regular blue lagoon. You know, we just try to you know make something different and creative about. I'm hearing I'm hearing some names for the first time. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so tell me, which has been out of these names that you've mentioned now, which has been the bestseller? Ah, uh, but like say, I wouldn't say one. And I wouldn't say two, you everybody know. Yes, yes. Everybody has been, you know. They taste these and they're like, okay, I recommend. Why not taste these as well? And they ah, and people still comes for more. And I say these are what you use for mixing to get a definite taste. Yes, yes. The most important thing. Why we have this display? So people can have an idea. You know, at times when we mention the name, people might not really understand the ingredients in in the menu list. So that's why basically. We try as much as possible to displace the items. And when people ask questions, we're able to tell you, okay, these are blends of different syrups, depending, you know, they're all fruity syrups. Yes, yes. The coconut, we have the strawberry, you know, we have the orange, the lime, the lemon, the watermelon, you know, depending on your preference. So we'd explain to you and we blend with the fresh fruits as well. So basically, these are the things we use for our different menu. That is very wonderful. So I'll just ask a few people, that I've tried it to know what they actually think about it. Uh, okay, yes, I've, I, I actually have a feedback form, okay. you know. So people feel the form after they've tried it. Uh, yes, I, I, I get their contact. And of course, you know, because it's on the spot, I serve you, you're able to taste it. So on the spot feedback. And it, it's been wonderful, yes. <laughs>
<laughs> so this is the Sabo restaurant. And yes, we are a fine dining gourmet restaurant located in BI, Adiola Hopal to be precise. Okay, so what dishes do you have for, for us today? Right now in GT food, we have um, seafood chorizo paella. Paella is a Spanish dish. It, I mean, sabo means flavor in Spanish. So, of course, we have to have one of their, their national favorite is paella. So, we have that. We have seafood scampi that's our best seller in sabo and also on the fairground. I mean, it's been going like wildfire. We have french fries. We have chicken lollipop. We have penne pasta. I mean... So did you say chicken lollipop? Yes, chicken lollipop. So it's a chicken wing and then we formed it into a lollipop. Barbecued, amazing stuff. Wow. I'm hearing that for the first time. <laughs> so tell us, how has the experience been? Is this, is this your first time at? This is our first time in GT Food. Um, the, rest, the, first, the festival, yes, it's our first time. So how's the experience been? Amazing. It's been amazing. We've got amazing people. I mean, I was, I was scared that we have like nasty people and all of that, but everybody has just been amazing so far, so good. So it's been good. It's been good. So how do your voice go? Excitement, shouting, jumping, talking to customers. I hear music I like, I shout and scream and dance, so yeah. Uh, I can say it's, it has been exciting. Oh yes, of course. And uh, the voice thing comes with the job. Head chef, we shout a lot, so yeah. What's the name of your brand? Liam Matt. Liam Matt. So tell us, what is is this um, Liam, Liam Matt's first time at the festival? Yeah, actually, this is actually our first time. So we are, we are enjoying it, though. That's, that's very good to know. How has sales been so far? Yeah, sales have been picking up, actually. Like, thanks to GT Bank, they are doing well. <laughs> okay. So tell us, what is Liam Matt um, giving to us today? I, have, I can see so many things, colorful things on display. Yeah. What do we have? We are a supermarket, so we got a lot of things. This is the wow egg for children. Children really love this. We got swell pops. We got the apple juice. A whole lot of things. Water to ice cream, Magnum's ice creams. Yeah, but the sticks, singles, bars, packs. So basically, you have a sample of everything here. Yes, basically. And there are side attractions for children. Yes, like the swell pops. Children love this a lot. So. This is a cartwright and butler. We got also this Harrod. So basically, we deal with foreign things also, both local and foreign stuff. So this is actually foreign. So how has, um, you said sales have been pretty good and picking up. Yeah. So which among all the items you have here today are like um, the best seller? Oh, for the best seller, we have the Magnum ice creams and we have the Swell Pops for children, you understand? And the Wild Eggs, basically everything is selling. That was good to look at. I know I see a lot of people around with yeah. the swell pops in particular, and I thought, okay, this should be the bestseller. But now you're telling me that everything basically is a bestseller. Bestseller, yeah. One, two, yeah. So here is it. <laughs> mm. Oh, okay, okay. I think I got this. I got this. I can taste strawberry. Uh, it's actually a fruit punch, so different fruit. Um, I think I tasted lime. Yes, lime, correct. Okay, I tasted... Um, let me see. <laughs> mint, is there mint in it? Grong, grong, grong. Okay, I think mango, is there mango in it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I got okay, that. One last, uh, one last one, one last one. Okay. Um, Purple. Purple? No, no, no. Black current. <laughs> I won't I won't be able to get it. <laughs> so this is really interesting. I like the feel. And it's chilled. And it's chilled. I love it. I love it. So you spoke about the ice cream. So do we have a sample? Yes, yes, yes. We have a sample for you. So we have the top. This is the mag magnum top ice cream. This is the cookie flavor. Then we got the sticks. This is a single piece. Uh, so this is the one, this is a pack of six, a mini pack of six. So this is the Magnum ice cream. We have others though, different flavors, Ben and Jerry, the Cadbury, Kit Kats, and so many others. But basically, we have the best. I have Amma, the CEO of the Waffle Hub. So tell me, is this your first time at the festival? Um, no, it's my second time. I think I was part of this to 2019, yeah. So this year, for this year, how has the experience been so far? 
It's been amazing. I mean, this is the third day. I think sales have been fabulous. People like our products. We just introduced the waffle dogs where we have sausages in them. Everyone is raving about it. Everyone loves it. I think that everybody loves waffles and ice cream. So we sold out yesterday and then we're hoping to sell out today as well. That is amazing. They sold out yesterday. So tell me, is this only waffles? It's just waffles, strictly waffles. Yeah, for now it's strictly waffles, but during the lockdown in 2020, we introduced the waffle dogs and it's the first time we're exhibiting it here. And it's been everyone's favorite so far. So it's waffle dogs with sausages in them and waffles and ice cream. That's all we do for now. And it has been a bestseller. Yeah, it's been the bestseller. The waffle dogs has been the bestseller, yeah. <music>represent La Plandia Vodka. La Plandia Vodka. So tell us what it's about. La Plandia Vodka is about luxury, affordability, and it's premium. Wow. So what's it taste like? We have eight different flavors that would wow your taste buds, literally. So do you do the mixtures yourself? Oh, we have special mixologists that could actually wow your taste buds with different cocktails and whatever you want. They could, do, they could do an exclusive cocktail for you if you want. I see that you have a lot of people. So which, which of the flavors would you say is a bestseller? Well, they're all bestsellers. We've been selling every single flavor back to back to back, for real. I see the excitement on your face. It's contagious. Yeah, it is. Should be. It's what it's all about. Like fun, having fun with something that tastes as nice as... It's so good, you can actually drink it anytime, anywhere, for real. If I'm to taste, have a taste now, which would you recommend? All eight flavors to you, all eight. But I'm to have just one. I can't do just one for you. You have to taste all eight. Okay. All eight. That's amazing. So we'll just ask a few people that have gotten the free shots to know what they think. Okay. You can go around and ask. It speaks for itself, literally. I would drink... Our vodka speaks for itself, for real. stuff inside i really like it yeah still on the la Prenda brand i have with me the espresso flavor mm. i'm very skeptical everybody saying this is the best selling so far so let's try it okay <laughs> this is good i think i taste um chocolate in it and it really tastes good it's nice yes i think i give it a thumbs up the best selling so far
Chef Nelson, code name Heisenberg, you know, because I make like the best grills and the best pasta. Hello, this is Steven from La Plendia Vodka. Hi, my name is Chef Lara of Sabo Restaurants. Keep watching. Black Drum TV, keep watching them. 100%. Hi, my name is Fumi Keshineye, the CEO of Rayleigh really Savo Cocktails. I'm trying to tell you that you should keep watching Black Drum TV. Yes, out. Black Drum TV! This is Honey and Cloves. This is the Waffle Hub. Keep watching Black Drum TV. So, guys, this is Leon Matt. Keep watching Black Drum TV. Thank you. Hi, guys, I go by the name DJ A for Boom. This is the official Nair Clothing. Keep watching Black Drum TV. Boom, you already know. Thank you.